late start today. We were, well, I was in the bed until about 12 o'clock probably. When did you wake up? When did you wake up? We were all in the bed about 12, Harlem too. So, we were trying to sleep train Harlem. She has gotten so used to sleeping with us and she needs to get used to sleeping in her crib. And it's but tell them what happened last night. Where did she sleep last night? There, I haven't gotten there yet. Okay. Anyways, so she's been having a hard time sleeping in her crib. So we've been trying to give her like, you know, tough love and you know, just putting her upstairs, but she'll wake up probably like four to five times a night. So let me further explain. First night we tried tough love. We only tried it one night. We because tried it. we let her, she stayed up and cried in the crib, standing up in the crib with her hand on the rail for about an hour and a half. And I think we tried to like, what, two or three times throughout the night? Yeah. Each time she stayed up, standing up in the crib with her hand on the rail, just constantly crying, no break. I'm talking about, uh, uh. But, I mean, it didn't really work, you know. She, she wasn't really feeling that. And then that morning, like, when, she, when you know, when we got up and everything, she looked so tired. Like, her oh eyes, God. it made me feel so bad, y'all. It made me feel so bad. I mean, we were looking, we were up all night, too, because we were, you know, looking at her on the monitor all night. You know, just making sure that, you know, I mean, nothing was really, nothing was wrong with her. Like, she wasn't hungry. She didn't have a wet diaper or anything. She just wanted to be, you know, downstairs in the bed with us. Okay, how about rewind all of this? All of this could have been avoided if it wasn't for Fidel. Because when she was a baby, 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 of course she would sleep um, beside us in her little pack and play bassinet or whatever. And then she, you know, we would, you know, put her upstairs. Then she got sick, like she got a little cough cold. And I wanted her to be downstairs with us. When she got well, I was like, you know, Kadera, we need to go ahead and put her back upstairs. Kadera was like, no, I want my baby to be down here with me. She likes to feel my warmth. She wants to sleep next to me. And y'all, listen, Kadero, like when she would wake Man. up, when she would wake up Man. in the middle of the night, Kadero would hold her in his arms the entire night. My baby want to be cuddled. The entire night. He she would hold her. To be cuddled. I wanted to be cuddled. You were all the way on the other side of so, the So, I mean, can you blame her, really? I mean, she's gotten accustomed, you know, to cuddling up with us, with her dad, Look, you know, at night. sleeping on me. I I admit it, I love it too, you know, I love holding her in my arm, we both fall asleep, bam, we knocked out, we both <laughs> snore, we sleep good, you know what I'm saying, she wake up, good with me and my yeah, and now, and listen, now we're having to go through this. You know what, don't be trying to put our plan on me. And here, all this is her fault, baby, it's her fault. Okay, whatever, I'll take it. So, fast forward to last night, um, it was my night, and I initially put her upstairs, but she woke up, and so I was like, well, let me just bring her downstairs, you know, I'm just going to rock her because I was watching. Yes, again, it's wide. Really, we were hoping that y'all can see both of us, but anyway, if not, you can see, I'm sure you can see Carlin and she's sleeping. Protein is safe. Anyway. So, um, straight out the gym, straight game. So, fast forward to last night. We, um, I was watching a movie, so I decided to, you know, bring her back downstairs because, you know, I was just gonna rock her back to sleep. I ended up getting really, really sleepy, so I just, you know, laid her beside the bed with us, and she slept the entire hey, what, night. Let me ask y'all something. Y'all drink wine before y'all go to bed. Let me tell you something. That, that stuff right there puts you to sleep. I, I drank wine the past two nights, and I swear it had me so tired. And I just had maybe half a glass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> half a glass, Canel! 
half a glass. Cause every night you had like two glasses of wine, two and a half glasses. Yeah, but it was like a quarter of wool, so it was like a half a glass. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know if I don't know. Are you gonna put her up in her crib tonight? Since it's your night tonight. No, tonight is your night. You Girl, know why? tonight Did is you, your no, night. You had her in the bed. You you had her in the bed last night, and you did not get up not one time to go in. I mean, you didn't have to get up because she was in our bed. That doesn't count, Candace. That's not even, con no. Tonight is your night. We ain't playing that. Now, yeah, especially if you ain't got to go to work tomorrow. That'll be three You ain't got to go to work row. tomorrow. Canada. Matter of fact, every night this week is your <laughs> night. You ain't going to work. Really? I don't want to talk about it. Discussion is over with. <laughs> that's, that's how you do it. That's, that's how you call the shots, man. Do you? Can you get the scarf wrapped around your head? Yeah, Bought her this. It's supposed to be a Christmas present, but you my mom was like, "Don't bring it upstairs. Let her play with it now. Let her play with it now." Just open up. Give me, give me a knife. It's for Christmas. Did you see how she did? Did you see how she did when she saw it? Mm-hmm. Come down, crash it again, and let watch her do it. Watch her. Now watch it. Don't let it hit her face today. Good night, guys. 